I was again at the crime scene. Inside the gallery, I could see lots of activity. Nave preparing for the reconstruction, no doubt. Nico and I had a good idea who the killer was. Now all we had to do was persuade Nave. Sir, I already tried starting it up. I, I think it's broken. Nonsense, Moo. This machine has the power of ten investigators. But investigators never fail to start up, sir. Your pessimism is duly noted, Moo. But have faith. This machine will analyze the scene, compute the data, and deduce everything for us. The location of the second shooter will be a mystery no more. <coughs> One moment. A marvel indeed, sir. The at the moment, it is too put. Your pessimism has obviously infected the circuitry, Moo. Let me think for a moment. If I could just... Shh! Eh bien, Moo, now try realigning the laser matrix. Sir, I have no idea what that is. Move over, Moo. Now, let me see. Oscillating reverberator. Check. Refraction spectrometer. Check. Now, what can it be? Ah, Monsieur Stobart, it's only you. Glad you could finally make it. Inspector. I've got some good news and some bad news. Oh, yes? I shall be the judge of that. I think I know who the killer is. Really? Yep, he's a gardener called Shears living in London. Fascinating. And the good news? We don't need to do your reconstruction. You joke with me, Monsieur Stabat. Uh, it's not a joke. This guy Shears was working for a Russian ex-mobster. It's all part of a highly complex fraud. Gardeners, KGB, fraud. You have fantasies, monsieur. And I have no time for fantasy. Reality is my suitcase, as you Americans say. Now, stand over there and keep out of trouble until the others arrive. Well, who are we waiting for? Mademoiselle Collard and Father Simeon. Please, I am very busy. Ah, Moo, a clever choice, but no cigar for you. Try the red. Mon Dieu! It was pointless trying to get a closer look at the machine while Nave and Moo were tinkering with it. Lane. Stobart. What's the deal with that device over there? It's a farce. They've been trying to get it working for hours. Looks like something out of a 50s sci-fi movie. It probably is. What do you think of Nave? The man is a buffoon. I have better things to do than wait for these idiots to get their forensic whatnot to work. The only silver lining is that Nave seems more annoyed than I am. I gather you're the man to ask about the provenance for the painting. For La Maledictio? Well, you have been busy, haven't you, Stobart? I'd like to see it. So speak to Bijou. She took care of the business side of the gallery. The provenance is in the office safe. She has the key. Lane was a pushover when you had him cornered. Though it looked like Bijou hadn't been completely honest with me after all. I needed to pay her another visit. What do you think of Moo? Who? The policeman with Nave. I assume he's another idiot. Why that? 
I believe one can tell a man by the company he keeps. I'll bear that in mind, Mr. Lane. Okay, thanks. Yes, yes. Sir, I think we are ready to fire her up. Yes, yes, I was just about to do the same thing. Do it. What have you done? Pardon me, sir, but I believe it was you who said... This is no time for blame. You have broken the machine. Mon Dieu. The bed. Monsieur Stobart, you will not leave until this is over. Understood? But I just need to... This is a reconstruction. You will remain here until I have concluded my investigations. Do I make myself clear? Okay, okay, clear. I considered making a run for it, but forcing Moo to chase me would have been cruel. And it would have been silly to risk my investigation. Better to play along with Nave and get the reconstruction over as quickly as possible. Inspector Nave. What seems to be the problem? Monsieur Stobart, if Paris finest cannot get this very expensive and very complex machine to work, then I doubt if an insurance salesman can... I'm an insurance assessor, actually. Oh, I see. Well, la-di-da to you, monsieur. Oh, yeah? Well, la-di-da to you back. Hmm, whatever. You are neither qualified nor clever enough to operate such an instrument. Like us. What was that, Moo? I said, uh, unlike us, sir. I was sure I could get the machine to work if I could just get Nave out of the way. Inspector Nave. I know this sounds obvious, but are you sure it's plugged in? Monsieur Stobart, do you really think I would be so stupid as to not check the fundamentals? We all make mistakes. What a ridiculous generalization, monsieur. <laughs> Look, I can see from here it's... Ah. Do you need assistance, sir? Very funny. One moment. That got rid of him. Now is my chance. I was going to have to figure that out quickly. Time to get the show on the road. See, Mu? I knew I would get it working. I'm not sure that you... Precisely. You knew my superior intellect would win through in the end. Yes, sir. Sir, I beg your pardon, but I think there is a teeny snag. 
Go. Go on. We have no victim. Good God, Moo. Are you suggesting I kill someone for the sake of this reenactment? No, sir. Just saying we need a body, sir. Ah, yes. I see. You will make a detective yet, Moo. I, of course, foresaw this. And I nominate you. Me? Well, I'm not dead. Have you ever acted, Monsieur Stobart? Well, I <laughs> don't like to blow my own trumpet, but I went down a storm playing the lead in Cat on a Felt-Tip Roof last summer. Oh. You played the cat? Uh, no. So, not the lead. Half-truths again, monsieur. Nevertheless, here is your chance to play a real lead role. But he looks nothing like the victim, sir. Oh, damn it, Moo. Must you find problems all the time? Let me think of a way to make this work. Relying on Nave's problem-solving skills could mean a long, long wait. I had to find something to make me more like Henri. I'll have a look around. Maybe I'll find something. Yes, you do that. Very similitude is the key, Stobart. Ah, you have arrived at last. Please, make yourselves comfortable. We are just making some last-minute adjustments. Father Simeon, Nico. Hi, George. Welcome to the asylum. Let me guess. Nave is overjoyed we've solved the case and he's putting us up for an award. Mm, not quite. I told him about Shears and Madovsky. He says it's fantasy. But that's crazy. Tell me about it. So what do we do now? Carry on anyway, and nail Madovsky. What about Nave? Ignore him. And this charade? The reconstruction? Well, sooner it starts, sooner it's over. Josh, what on earth is that machine? It's Nave's baby. Supposedly, it's going to analyze the crime scene and tell us what happened. But we already know what happened. Sure we do, but Nave doesn't. Quiet, please! How can I concentrate with all these rackets going on? Lane was right. Nave was an idiot. Hello, Father. Mr. Stobart, will this take long? I'm not sure. Nave appears to be struggling with the machine. I'll pray for some divine intervention, then. Yeah, if you think that'll help. The Lord is always listening, George. The best place to find Henri's things was in his office. On the head of the statue was a pair of Henri's glasses. Maybe, just maybe, the glasses would make me look like Henri. I opened the compartment again. I wasn't going to open the safe without the key. I wasn't going to open the safe without the key. I wasn't going to open the safe without the key. That was almost a great idea. Almost.
I've found Henri's glasses. Stole or found? Never mind. That might just do it. Come on, everyone, into position. I want everyone to stand precisely where they were when the victim died. This process is ridiculous. God moves in mysterious ways, Father. Indeed. And the devil makes work for idle hands, Mr. Stobart. Shh! Stobart, you are supposed to be dead. Please be dead more quietly. I tried to tell Nave the truth about his bloodstains. Didn't he believe you? You're a man of God. His faith is in science, Mr. Stobart, not God. Monsieur Stubble. Yes, Inspector? You are fiddling. I just wanted to show Father Simeon. Well, don't. You are supposed to be dead. The dead do not move. They do not talk, and they certainly do not fiddle. So, please, stay in character. Important science is occurring. Now, they wasn't going to let me show the priest anything, but that wouldn't stop me talking to him. Father? Yes, my son. You keep talking about the Gnostics. Who are they? They are a cult, a warped branch of Christianity that reveres Lucifer as equal to, or perhaps greater than, God. I can see how that might trouble the Vatican. The Vatican is the least of your worries. Please be quiet! Do you think the machine will give the inspector some insight into Henri's murder? He will find the answers he seeks, but he asks the wrong questions. This was no ordinary murder. Do you think Inspector Nave will ever figure this out? I'm not sure, although I'm no expert. Yeah, neither is he by the looks of it. Last time we met, you said the stolen painting was evil. Let me explain. I'm a Dominican, Mr. Stobart. The Dominican Order was founded to seek out and destroy heresy. Why? Because heresy is evil. Okay. For a thousand years we have fought against heresy. Indeed, our enemies gave us a nickname, the Hounds of God. Dominicanus, Dominican, you see? Very clever. Now this painting, the Manedictio, is without doubt heretical. Whoa, ho hold on. How can a painting be heretical? Because it is filled with Gnostic imagery. And Gnostics are heretics. What kind of imagery? Evil imagery. The Ouroboros, the snake eating its tail. Images of false saints, heretical saints. So you think the painting itself is evil? It trails murder in its wake, Mr. Stobart. And murder is police work, monsieur. Silence, please, both of you. The Ouroboros, what exactly is it? It is a Gnostic symbol. It marks something that is hidden. There are trees illustrated within the Ouroboros. They symbolize knowledge. So the Ouroboros alludes to hidden knowledge. Painting must be destroyed to stop this knowledge being revealed. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That is the first set of results completed. Only 36 more to do. Please remain in position while we reset the machine. 
You may relax and talk amongst yourselves. Who are these false saints? Gnostic saints, not beatified by the church. They question orthodoxy, lure the unwary down dark paths of forbidden knowledge, and condemn innocent souls to the fires of damnation. You mean like a Black Sabbath album? Vade Retro Satana. What's the matter? It is worse than I thought. What is it? It's just a sketch. Not just a sketch. The painting. I wondered if it was something I had said. I have to get out of here. Now. Father Simeon, I forbid you to leave. This is an official investigation. Don't you understand? Great evil is upon us. The painting is evil. The heretical Gnostics in league with the devil himself. The devil? Don't you understand? The tabula veritatis, the tablet of truth, it is real. Well, well, someone is upset. Pressing your witnesses a little too hard, Inspector Neve? And you are? This is official police business. Richard Langham, Interpol, serious art theft. We spoke on the phone, Inspector. Ah, yes, sir. Um, oh, you didn't say you would be attending my crime scene. What exactly is this machine, Inspector? <laughs> a little invention of mine, Monsieur Langham. It will compute whose blood this is on the floor, and... Not to worry, Inspector. Perhaps you could move aside? I'm intrigued to see what you're up to. Ah, of course. It is rather groundbreaking. Pizza box. Hmm. It looks like your suspect was a Hawaiian, Inspector. A Hawaiian? Mon Dieu! Mou! Get on to the Hawaiian Embassy, straight away. There is a surf killer on the loose. Alert the airports and the surf shops. Sorry, Inspector. I mean, Hawaiian pizza? Your blood stain is a pizza sauce. Pizza? Mou! You fool! Forget the surf shops. Get on to the Italian embassy. This has mafia written all over it. Now, Inspector, if you don't mind, I'd like to speak to your witnesses. And in the meantime, perhaps you should try and get your priest back. Madame Collard, Mr. Stobart, I assume. Can I buy you chaps a coffee? Langham sound a little more on the ball. Maybe he'd bring a dose of common sense to the case. So, Inspector Nave brought me up to speed and told me about you guys. I can guess what he said. Uh, but what's your interest in the robbery? I've been tracking a gang of art thieves for some time. This looked like a good lead. But Nave is worse than useless. I was hoping you might be able to help. You have flattered. Just doing our jobs. We all are, or at least trying to. So, maybe we can help each other. I gather you insured the exhibition. That's right, and uh, we're liable to lose a packet. Any leads so far? Maybe. There's a Russian guy called Madovsky who turns out to be the owner of the painting. Madovsky? You know him? Oligarch, oil, art, aluminium, ex-KGB, very nasty. You need to be careful. Madovsky's dangerous. He kills anyone who gets in his way. For a cop, Langham seemed okay. Trouble with doing deals with cops, there's usually a payback down the line. But 
I figured that'd be a price worth paying to bring down Madofsky. We found evidence that links Madofsky to the company that installed the security at the gallery. Hmm. Interesting. And one of his men, Geichwald Shears, was in Paris on the day of the robbery. Really? We also found a letter from someone called Gainan wanting to buy the painting from Madofsky. Gainan? The name rings a bell? Did you find anything else about him? No, we were in a hurry. What about the priest? Ah, the good Father Simeon. Well, something spooked him, that's for sure. So I gather. He kept saying La Maledizio was evil. Perhaps he's right. It certainly caused evil, hasn't it? I'll take leads from anyone, Mr. Stobart, even a crazy priest. Let's keep in touch. Thank you for your help. Coffee's on me, or rather, on Interpol. Miss Collard, Mr. Stobart. So, George, what do you think? Interesting. He seems to be on top of things. I agree. You know, Nico, this could start getting dangerous. You think Langham's right about Madovsky? Well, he appears to be on the ball. I thought he was cute. He was English, Nico. They're all cute to you. <laughs> hidden depths, too. Oh, yeah? Well, what about my hidden depths? You showed me those long ago, Georges. Well, I'm off home to write up the story so far. You? I have to see a woman about a dog. A stuffed dog, that is. You're talking riddles again, Georges. I need to pay Bijou another visit. She's not been completely honest with me.